Yo, what's good with y'all? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to animate GUIs or UIs, whatever you wanna call it. So you guys know when you're playing games and stuff, let's say like, let's say you're playing like a fighting game, right? You just finished a quest or, or no, no, no. Let's say you, you just talked to an NPC, you received a quest and then like you see a, like a text come from like nowhere on the left side of your screen just slides over here like it's because it's animated and stuff, right? You wanna learn how to do stuff like that? I got y'all. Before I get straight into the video, I just want to remind you guys I have a Discord server. The link is in the description. You can join to get help with scripting or other Roblox dev related things. You can join us to talk and chill with me or talk and chill with other people. You can make suggestions for my channel or you can, uh, if you have video suggestions of things you want to see me like make tutorials on or stuff like that, I got you on stuff. So yeah, join the Discord and the Roblox group. Both links are in the description. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, so first things first, obviously, to animate a GUI, you're going to need a GUI. So we'll call this our, uh, I guess I'll just call it animate G. Well, no, yeah, yeah I'll just call it animate because, like, for the purpose of the video, I'm literally just making it to UI just so, just so it animates. Um, okay, so let's say we had a text label, right? Actually, no, I'm gonna change the name. We're gonna say congrats, GUI. Let's say we had a text label, right? Like, this is gonna be our message, our congrats message, right? Let's say when a player reaches level 50, we want we want them to get a congrats message like congratulations and stuff. Yeah, y'all yeah, know how those messages are, right? So to do that and stuff, like by the way, you guys don't have to add like the UI corner and stuff. Certain stuff I'm just doing just to like make it look nice and stuff. But yeah, though. So we could do something like kind of like this, like a light gray, and then add in like a gradient, and then maybe make it like not lighter but like mm, yeah like, like getting like dark grays like something like that and then we'll change the text color to like mm, like a yeah like a yellow yeah like a yellow because like i don't know more like a gold because like congratulations is like you know it's like bright and stuff um and then we'll change like, the texture color something bright like right yeah kind of like that yeah yeah we'll do something like that all right so we'll say congrats you have reached level 50 you don't have to put that this is just this is one oh hold on that, that, you cannot read that i'm just putting that for the sake of the video and stuff i'm changing that that did not look good okay i'm just putting that for the sake of the video okay you guys don't have to necessarily use that and then i'm gonna turn on ignore gy well, no such if you don't know means like you're able to kind of put things at the top rather than like rather than it be like um push down per se because like there's like an invisible bar here and stuff but anyway okay so once you have your ui made and stuff like that right we have our text label ready and stuff like that so we're going to insert a local script but first things first we obviously need it to like you need the script to make it so like it animate it like plays the animation for the ui like when something happens basically a function to a function for the sake of the video and stuff i'm just gonna do a text button i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna use a text button just for display purposes like demonstration purposes so i just click in and it just happens i'm gonna set the text message to not like take visible make it not visible but leave the gui enabled though so we can use it the text button we're gonna we're gonna do um congrats we'll name this congrats message button and we'll just we'll just put a uh, scale the text congrats right and then, yeah that looks great yeah it looks great it looks great and then in here we're gonna put we're gonna put our local script right okay so what you guys want to do is right you can do this one of two ways right what I like to do and stuff I like to have the UI positioned from where I want it to um come from rather than trying to set it in a script, right? So let's say we want it to slide from left to right. I'm gonna put the UI over here and then I'm gonna set it to not visible again, right? And then you can name the script uh, congrats, congrats message animation. We'll call it that animation script. So you can do script.parent, mouse button, one click, connect function, close parentheses, enter, and then you do um, make a variable actually. Yeah, make it a variable. We're gonna call this local message equal to script parent dot parent congrats message. 
and then what you're going to want to do is click message and then colon and then tween make sure you do position not well if you want to tween the size and position then you can do that but usually people tween just the position and stuff you want to, you want to usually keep the same size okay so you want you want your end position right wherever the ui like already is like and stuff like right here is our starting position right it's going to tween to wherever we put whatever we put here now we want it to be like yeah like in the middle like about right here yeah, we want it to be like right there so i'll get the coordinates from that then i will reset the ui back to where it was make it invisible again and now with those coordinates i will paste it in here so make sure you delete the special brackets you don't need those just delete the special brackets and you can just leave it in parentheses right and then from there what you guys can do i mean not that what you guys can do from there is um once you tween the position like this is where it's going to end wait oh i'm students students student. my fault guys my fault guys i was like i'm not gonna let you i'm tripping okay what you guys want to do is you you dim you dim to new and then have your coordinates inside okay my fault I was wondering, I was like, why? I was like, why isn't it working? Okay. So yeah, like I said, remove the special brackets and leave inside the parentheses. Okay. So make sure you put u dim to dot new. This is like vectors. It's like vector three dot new, but for UI, right? And stuff. So yeah. Then zero and then you need oh make sure you have another parenthesis out here. That's why. Okay. So you come on the outside then parentheses, make sure you're on the outside and not inside. Then do a comma, then do enum dot easing direction, right? The type of like what direction do you want do you want it to go outward in or in and out obviously since we want the message to like move to the right like go from left to right obviously it makes sense to do out but that's completely up to you though this stuff is completely up to you guys but yeah then for easing style i i um usually like to do um linear because linear is just, linear is just so simple like it's animated but it's simple a lot of these others are like it moves a certain speed that might overshoot its target and stuff like for like dramatic effects and stuff. You guys can pretty much you guys can just play around with them. Like just keep trying each one and just seeing what each one looks like and stuff. But yeah, for this, I'm going to use linear. And then you also can choose like the time, like the max amount of time you want the animation to play. So it'll hurry up if you want it to like the animation only play for like a certain amount of time and stuff. For the video, I'm not going to do that. But if you want it to like make it so it would only move to that like in that certain amount of time you could put one two three completely up to you but yeah though. okay so we are done literally oh no 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 last thing last thing, last thing. so you want to tween it right and then of course you want to obviously set it to visible to true like set visible true because it, it would just move and you wouldn't be able to actually see it so then when we click play we want to click congrats and as you guys can see, it moves. Well, it did move up a little, but that's because I didn't keep it in the same spot. But you guys get the point. As you can see, it animated itself. That's uh, linear, by the way, and easing direction out. It animated itself and moves right there to the middle. The uh, coordinates we put here for the UDEM. But yeah, though, thank you guys for watching the video and stuff. As always, if you guys have questions, my Discord link is in, is in the description. Join up. Ask, you can. I have a channel called Scripting Support. You can ping me with your questions or DM me with your questions. It doesn't really matter to me and stuff. Uh, don't forget to join the Roblox group. Link's in the description. Drop a like on the video and subscribe if the video was helpful. I appreciate the support you guys have been showing. We're almost to 180 subscribers. Let's keep the support going. And yeah, I'll see y'all.